Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're going to talk about using bobbers to catch catfish. Well, most of us started out fishing for panfish, bluegill, brim, sunfish, and using a bobber to suspend a piece of bait, whether it be a worm or a cricket, uh, is a great way to catch these fish. And it's uh, very easy to teach somebody uh, how to use a bobber because all you gotta do is look at it, you see it go down, you see it start twitching, you know a fish is feeding on it. And it's a very effective tool. One of the things that I believe happens is that there is something primal about seeing that happen. And uh, I think it's something that becomes very addictive uh, when you do it as a kid. And I believe it imprints your memory in your mind. And uh, even as adults, when we use bobbers to fish with, it's exciting to see them start moving, see them start twitching, see them start moving across the top of the water. Well, as catfish anglers, we're no different. Yeah, we like to see a rod get slammed over, that big strike, that big takedown. But for a lot of us, uh, we will use bobbers, some people more than others, to suspend baits for catfish. Now, one of the most common ways uh, to do this is to suspend live baits. It's a great way to keep live baits up off of the bottom. If you're using bluegill, brim as live baits or other small fish, once they're held down, pinned down in a position, they're usually gonna hide. They may move around for a little while, they may be active, but uh, after a while, a lot of them will just kind of hunker down and really become inactive and they have to wait for a fish to come find them. When you suspend them by or underneath a bobber, when they're up there floating in the middle of the water column where they don't want to be, a lot of times they're a little more active. They're also presented better. It's a better presentation for fish to come up and attack them and get that hook set in their mouth. Now, one way that you'll see me use a bobber to suspend a bait is uh, on a Santee rig. Uh, the Santee rig is a rig that is used to suspend a bait, not really uh, that far from the surface, but up off the bottom. And uh, you can use this suspended bait in four or five, six feet of water, or you can use it in 40 or 50 feet of water. This Santee rig, I've got several videos on it that you can check out. Uh, it's also known as a drifting rig. Uh, a lot of times I use this when the boat is moving dragging baits across the bottom. What this does is by design, a sinker makes contact with the bottom and then that bobber, that cork is on the line, uh, on the leader between the sinker and the hook and it floats the bait up off the bottom. Now, this isn't suspended up in the middle of the water column, but it's literally suspended just a couple of feet, maybe even 18 inches off of the bottom. And like I said, that can be in any depth of water. Now, the more traditional method is to uh, put the baits hanging down underneath the bobber that is on the surface. That is generally where we uh, see bobbers used the most and what we think of uh, when we think of using bobbers for catfish. Uh, again, a lot of times these are used up near the bank in more of a traditional manner. But also, there's a lot of people that use these in open water, deeper water. Uh, many times during certain times of year, under certain conditions, you will see arches suspended in the middle of 15, 20, 30, 40 feet of water. You may look on your sonar unit and you may see arches, large arches that could be catfish down there in 15 feet in the middle of the water column. Using a slip bobber, uh, it's a very effective means to put those baits at that exact depth that you want them at and you're getting them away from the boat. Some people do not like to fish baits directly underneath the boat. Uh, they like them away from the boat and this is a very effective means of doing that. Now there are a couple of ways to attach a bobber to your line. Uh, what most of us know that have done some fishing, uh, we know the spring loaded bobbers. It's a little spring clip. You push the clip in, you attach it to your line, uh, you know, two feet from your hook, you cast it out, you're ready to go. It's that simple. Uh, and you can do the same thing uh, doing this for catfish. The problem is a lot of times fishing for catfish, we are trying to target fish that are further down in the water column. So we may have to get these baits down 10, 15, 20, 25 feet. 
Obviously, if you clip a bobber 25 feet from your hook, well, you're gonna have a hard time casting it with that much line. So the trick to overcoming that issue is using a slip bobber. Now again, this is getting into a little bit more of an advanced technique of fishing here with bobbers, but basically what you're doing is putting the bobber on the line so that it can slide freely back and forth. And you can do this a couple of different ways. You can do it with a uh, peg float type bobber, and you can also do it with one that is attached to a sinker slide or something similar that will allow it to slide on the line. Then up your line at whatever depth you want that bait below the surface, you put a slip knot. This is a little uni knot that is put onto your fishing line. What happens is you set that, tie it, put it at the depth you want. You're able to reel that onto your reel and you're able to cast it if you need to. And as the sinker sinks and pulls the line down, it stops when it gets to that knot and it's set at the depth that you want to have your bait at. Now again, this is a little more complicated uh, scenario and setup for some people. Requires a little more work, requires a little more effort, but it's a very effective tool for getting baits at the depth you need them to catch catfish that are suspended in the water column. Now, some of you may be fishing at night and wanting to put baits out, whether you're fishing from the bank or fishing from a boat. Well, obviously the problem at night is you can't see that bobber out there in the water and uh, it's good to keep an eye on it uh, to see what's going on with the fish and the bite. So one of the options out there that's been around for a while are the little glow sticks that you can get. Uh, these things are small, affordable. You break them, you crack them. Uh, two chemicals mixed together. They light up, they glow in the dark. You can see it. Uh, you can attach them to a float, tape them to it, put them on a rubber band. Some floats have a little place that holds these things in place. Uh, they work and they are effective. One bad part is they go out. You have to buy another one. Uh, they're only good for that night of fishing. So uh, it's kind of something that is disposable with each trip. Now, there's one that I just recently got my hands on uh, from Patriot Cat Catfish Floats that will suspend a lot of weight. I have put some stuff underneath it. Don't know exactly how big a bait it will hold, but if you are trying to swim around some big baits, whether they be alive or cut, these are the float for you. Uh, they've got a uh, little sinker slide on one side that attaches to your line. This is where you use the slip knot method uh, with a bobber stop in place. Uh, so you can put these things as shallow or as deep as you want. The cool thing about for night fishing is they have a battery powered light uh, that is built into them. Uh, it's one of the lightning bugs. If you have not seen lightning bugs, you need to check them out too. I'll put you a link down below. These are little battery powered LEDs that were originally designed uh, to attach to your catfish rod. Uh, you can attach these to pretty much any kind of rod and uh, your tips were lit up. You could see when you're getting bit. Uh, it's got a long life LED. I've got some of these things that have not burned out yet. Very simple to use. You twist it, you turn it, it lights up. They come in a variety of different colors so you can keep up with what baits on what or how you've got it set up and uh, they've got a long life. These Patriot Cat catfish floats come with one of these built into it. So it's a very cool way to see what your bobbers are doing when they're out there in the water and they're lit up. And uh, it's a great way to suspend big baits when you're out there trying to catch some big fish. Now, when is the best time to use bobbers for catfish? It's gonna vary depending on where you're fishing and what kind of waterways that you fish. The areas where I fish, where I think it's really effective. I love it in springtime. I love it pre-spawn when fish are moving up along the banks, feeding on brim. I think it's a great way to pick some of these fish off, especially at night. Uh, and that's where these Patriot Cat catfish floats with a built-in light come in really handy. It's a great way to pick off fish. Another time I like it is when you get into the summer, uh, post-spawn, fish move deeper, and you start getting catfish that are suspended. Uh, that is another good time to give this a try in some deeper water. Uh, I, I have tried this a few times. I've had some good luck with it. I've marked a lot of fish out there fishing. It's frustrating. 
uh, and it's a good way if you want to try to fish for these fish and get lines away from the boat to get them out there and get them suspended. But my favorite time is springtime, pre-spawn, and uh, when those fish are up shallow, uh, you know, sometimes it's like super shallow, two, three feet of water, but a lot of times you may be casting up to five, six feet of water and you can put those baits about middle way down the water column and uh, those fish are just sitting there. They're just ready to be picked off uh, by whatever catfish is down there on the bottom looking for a free meal. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know, just watch them both, they're both good.